Welcome everyone to Experimental on Satisfactory. Uh, they just added trains in, which is perfect because I wanted to uh, go to the Experimental version of the update. Uh, last episode here, we finally got around to automating supercomputers. Uh, we have supercomputers going. We are actually producing one per minute of supercomputers and one per minute of heavy frames. So we got a good uh, amount in our storage here down there. Uh, that is supercomputers there and frames are sitting over there. So we are in good shape here for the update. Now obviously I'm going to have to do some research. I'm going to have to unlock some stuff. We uh, kind of haven't really unlocked everything anyway. So we got a little bit of work ahead of us here. Now I have modified since our last episode. I added a couple more uh, things in here making cables. So we have the appropriate amount of cables going into our high-speed connector so we're producing three per minute and we're using 2.981 per minute so it slowly stacks up but it's producing almost one supercomputer per minute so I don't know how many minutes you're gonna need to actually flip that sucker over so you lose one per minute but it's almost like daylight savings time at that point but we're looking good for supercomputers we're looking good for heavy frames and now it's time to take a look at trains we're gonna get trains going on I want to unlock tier 7 and I want to take a look and we'll see what we need to unlock trains because I'm gonna use trains to transport uranium up to our tower of power which I might actually I think I'm gonna push back a little bit we're gonna go back over that way a little further uh, but that tunnel we went up, if you guys were watching my episodes really early on, if you guys do want to watch these in sequence, go to the top pin comment, I'll put the playlist in there. But we went through uh, a big long tunnel up there to get to oil, which ended up being just stupid and redundant, we got it from over there, um, and over there. But, there's uranium up there, and I think we have to blow up a couple boulders to get to it, but that's where we will be getting our power eventually. Oh, look at the supercomputer. Going down the belt. All by itself. Uh, so, I'm going to hop over here. We're going to go and check out what we need to get updated. Now, I'm taking a quick look at our uh, research machine here. And our oscillator research is done. So, we've unlocked some These stuff. These particular quartz-based crystal oscillators are optimal for limited radar technology. R&D has provided a new milestone in Tier 5 with a derived building. Okay, so tier 5, that must actually be the towers so that you can see the maps. Let's take a look here. There's a few I haven't unlocked, like our uh, computer alternate, which, I mean, that's really easy. All I have to do is go and grab some of this and we're done. Uh, but radar technology, there it is. I haven't even built radar towers <laughs> yet. Uh, but we're going to take a look here at tier 6 and monorail mono train technology. Whew, I had a hard time saying that. Motors. These, I may need to make a few of these by hand. I actually do not have these automated, and I'm slowly running over the huge amount of the um, motors we had in stock from early on in the game. But we definitely have the modular frames made up. I think we have about 400 now sitting in our storage, so we can definitely unlock that. And I'm going to get the motors here together. This may take a few moments. So my fears about motors was actually... Uh, not too bad. We actually have quite a bit of motors left, so I'm pretty happy with that. Now, my inventory is absolutely full here. I'm just going to get rid of those because we have a ton of them in stock. Uh, same with some of this random stuff I have on me, too. I've done a lot of constructing. I could actually use more inventory slots, I think, at this point. We'll get rid of the one stacks. So we have 100, 200 motors, and I'm going to grab 50 extra just so we have some over there. Uh, these are good. I think you need to have these to make monorails. So we have a few. Oh, we have quite a few of those sticking around. And, oh. Well, that's actually a pleasant surprise. We have a large amount of motors and, um, iron plates over here. Rotors. Okay, all the basics. These here, I'll get rid of this chest. I've been slowly getting rid of these as I go. This is, um, some of the leftovers from the original plant that was over here from long, long ago. And, whoa, almost overshot that. <laughs> Holy crap, that's actually really quick. Okay, so there we go. We have everything we need to actually unlock this milestone. So let's go ahead 
and deposit all that. There we go. Uh, 50 more computers here. Did I not? Ah, there we go. <laughs> and 200 motors. And we'll have this unlocked. Beautiful. Look at that. Now we have trains. Milestone reached. A new set of buildings and vehicles needed for long-range transportation has been made available. In addition to built-in power conduction, rails-based transit ensures increased efficiency and reliability for both the transport of pioneers and cargo. Awesome! So we can build trains now. This actually feels pretty damn amazing. So I'm thinking um, we do need a train station for uh, uranium going over there but in the future we may make a, a train station here and transport all the oil and stuff over from our old power production we'll go tear down the old um the old fuel power production over there once we get nuclear going save our uh, save ourselves some supplies and we'll make a train station coming in here or something anyway i'm getting ahead of myself here too but we got to check out this train stuff let's go ahead what's under vehicles of course we got our electric locomotive. Oh. Environmentally friendly. These are actually not too bad to build. Some heavy frames, some motors. We got lots of those. Uh, we got lots of pipes saved up in our storage from being autom uh, automatically made and stored. And we got to make some beacons. That's not so bad. Freight cars. So this obviously would add storage to it. That's not too bad itself for supplies. We got our train station can be set to drive to and stop at the train station. You can connect power to the train station to power up the trains on the railways as well as transport the power to other stations. Oh cool, so you only need to really power one station and it takes care of the whole circuit. That's actually pretty handy and the supplies for that's not even bad at all. Now that we have a good amount of production, even cables, we have tons of those. Uh, freight platform. As freight cars stop at this, so you'll either unload or load their goods, depending on what you've set it to. So I guess if you have multiple freight cars, you can build more freight platforms. So it can unload all at once and then be on its way again. Oh, that's really neat. And we have empty platform. Just need to create some empty space. <laughs> it's actually kind of neat. We'll see if we can incorporate that to look cool. And finally, railways. So these do take those um, beams, but we have tons of those kicking around. And if we really need to, we can actually interrupt one of our uh, machines over here, or a couple, and then just store them into one storage. Because we're making beams over there for our encased industrial beams. Uh, so I'm gonna get a big area here. Let's check some of this stuff out. Let's let's get a um, something going here. Got our train station. Holy crap! This thing's huge. The size of this thing. Can't afford. What am I missing on this? Oh, a computer. Okay, so let's try that again. Train station got some computers. Had done storage. Uh, so if we look, the arrow says I guess this is out. Do we have enough room behind me? Oh yeah, we've got tons of room behind me to make the train turn around. Because um, I would assume that the train would have to come in, go... Oops, well, that was a little bit of leg. Go turn around and then come back into itself. We'll, we'll get that one figured out here too. Uh, sweet, so this is a train station itself. This thing's huge. Look at the size of this thing. Wow. It's crazy. Okay, uh, so our next objective, get this hooked up to power. Do we have anything close by? Of course we do. Okay, so apparently our train is loaded. We got a train station. So I guess this shows how much power it's consuming. So oh, the whole circuit will be consuming uh, power. Uh, capacity and production. Wow, that's really cool. And the timetable, I guess, once you get it all set up. It's going to take a little, little bit of a looking into. Okay, so next thing. I'm going to build a railways, of course. Snap it to the end. And these things have no snap points. Now, this has its negatives, but it also 
has its positives. And you can't... Uh, oh, you can build it through the trees. We should... Um, when we go to build this actual thing, go ahead and get in uranium. Yeah, wow, that... You know what? Look at that. Take it. Oops. Oh no. Okay. No, we're good. As long as I get out of it. Okay. It actually hugs the landscape pretty well. Like it kind of goes down into it here, but that's okay. Because after a while, like you even see it on like real trains and stuff, they, it kind of gets grown in a little bit. This here, uh, I'm not a big fan of that, but. There's ways to fix that, right? <laughs> uh, but I do like how it kind of... It, it tries to adapt itself to the landscape, at least. Okay, so now that we've interrupted it... Let's see. Now, I know the turns are going to be real slow because it's, um, of course, a train. And trains can't take wide turns because they're really long. Uh, the... Um, the points of contact are really far in between each other. Okay. So I want to see. That's actually not so bad, really, if you think about it, how wide that turn is. It has too sharp of a turn. Of course it does. If we bring it out this way. Okay, I'm going to kind of keep going like this with it. And see if I can't get a good natural turn out of it. It does not seem so... <laughs> Um, trying to make like perfect turns is going to be a little bit of a pain, I think. Okay, so at closer inspection, trying to make that turn without using platforms and have it come back into itself. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong if there's um, a certain way to intersect it, but it doesn't look like you'll be able to do it on a... Um, a surface as such so I'm gonna try to put some platforms down and see if we can get a nice solid turn out of this okay here we go so I've brought it around here what I did was I uh, lined this up to the middle and then kind of curved it around and lined it up to the middle of these platforms right here these things actually do take up a lot of space but when they're flat like this uh, all you have to do is actually just look at the track and it clips it to itself. Uh, but unfortunately, I didn't go far enough. I have to go uh, a few more frames out here, or foundations out. Let's give this a try and see if we can't get that to lock and uh, look half decent here. Uh, too sharp of a turn. Definitely too sharp of a turn. There too. Hmm. And look at this, I got it. Here we go, clipped in. Oh, awesome. So now we actually have a switch here. So if we press E, we can toggle the switch. Oh, okay, that is <laughs> that is really neat. Okay, so what I've done here, instead of like going straight and then trying to do um, like some sort of half moon, I went out, turned around, and then came back in. Um, I tried to keep it as equal as possible, and that actually turned out. Not that bad. <laughs> I'm actually quite surprised. Uh, now, I don't think we'll be able to go back in a route quite yet, because we need a little bit more uh, room. But I can try to mimic it on this side. Really shouldn't be that hard. I think I have the space. Oh yeah, we're good. I just might end up putting the, uh, the green stuff for a bit. <clears throat> Alright, and there we have it. On this side, I didn't do such a graceful job, but I got it done at least. <laughs> there we go. So it merges into each other. We have a switch there, so uh, we can switch tracks. Uh, I have no idea how to do that. But now is the time to go ahead and build ourselves an electric locomotive. Oh, I need to go ahead and get myself some beacons first. There we have it in all of its glory. Our electric locomotive. <laughs> this is awesome. Okay, so press E to drive electric lo locomotive. Let's take a quick look at this thing. It looks like they've done a pretty decent job so far of the skin. Um, looks like it might need some improvements up towards the top, but it's looking pretty damn good. I like it. I like how it looks so far. 
Um, I think I seen a model of it where it looked like a giant truck, like the, the head of it was up here or something silly like that. I really like this model right here. I like with how this looks. So let's go ahead, press E to drive it, and go for a drive. Oh wow, this thing is nice and quick. I'm going at 113 kilometers an hour. <laughs> Holy crap, this thing just whips along. I love it. And it looks uh, it tells you too how much power you're using. That's actually really neat. So we're using up almost uh, 30 megawatts doing this. Uh, this is this is still pretty damn cool though. Look how fast it goes. So S is the brake. Stop it. I love those sounds. It can go in reverse. Why was I thinking you cannot go in reverse? So I guess you could do a forwards backwards station, but it would save a lot of room. <laughs> uh, okay, well, let's try to program this thing instead of uh, jumping out of it. We'll wait for it to come back. It's got a little bit of momentum. Whoop! Ninja in there. Okay. Let's slow. Let's slow this down. <laughs> I, I love this thing. Okay, so uh, pressing C, let's go to edit train route. Press a plus. Hey, here we go. Insert choo choo name. Um, insert choo choo name. Okay, awesome. So this is a train route, I guess. Uh, available stations. Okay, so apparently I press plus for this station. I actually don't know how to automate these things at all. We're going to find out. Oh, it has a horn. You press your mouse button. <laughs> I love it. Oh, it's a different one. That's crazy. Okay, I'm going to uh, stop the next time we come around at the station. This thing's really quick. And see if we can't um, set it. Okay, I don't know what I did, but I got in. And then I jumped out. And it started going on by itself. So I don't know um, exactly how to start these things correctly, I guess. But it looks like it's going by itself. Let's see if it comes back around. Yeah, and there she is. So it looks like it's fully automated now. Um, I don't know the proper way to start it. And it's got in, drove it forward, jumped off. <laughs> uh, let's actually get on this thing. Take it for a little bit of a ride here. So it's going to go on its own. Ha, ah, so I figured it out here. Uh, what you need is actually two stations. We need two stations for it to stop at. So uh, once I've added the second station in, it goes up here, stops at this station, comes down, turns around, comes back up, and then uh, does a loop again. If we take a quick look at the schedule, <laughs> this is so cool. I like trains. Um, if we take a quick, a quick look at the schedule here for insert choo choo name, um, this stop here is uh, Zgoov C, and the other one is Stenstorp. <laughs> these names uh, so you basically just go in there we go we'll go into the timetable click on that you click on the actual stop and you can tell it you want it to stop at X station uh, which is really neat so you can have multiple trains running so we can probably have two trains on this track let's uh, let's get another one going here we'll plop her down oh I need some more uh, that's okay I'll grab some all right there we go it's done its uh, complete circuit. So we're going to put this one on here. And... Bang! There we go. And we're going to call this one... Uh, let's press C. This one is going to be called Pew Pew Chew Chew. There we go. Awesome. And we're going to make a schedule for it. So it's actually going to go... 
Let a second stop in here. There we go. We'll see if it will actually go backwards and uh, jump out without actually... We don't even have to ride it. You don't have to train it where to go. That is actually pretty damn cool. Look at it. It's actually going faster than the other one that I rode, I think. <laughs> it's kind of funny that they go through each other. Uh, but at the same time, that's going to actually make things a lot easier. Unless they change that in the future. But uh, there we go. Let's see what this one does. It'll stop for a quick second. I love the brakes effects. Like, look at that. It's awesome. And it kind of goes again. Oh, I love it. The brakes sound everything. They kind of nailed these trains. I am impressed. But it does look like they're actually pacing each other quite well. Okay, maybe I didn't have to drive it. You just set the uh, train schedule for each one and they go on their own. That is so much easier than vehicles. <laughs> this is so neat. So we got to check out here how to get freight cars onto the tracks or onto the cars too. Uh, must be built on a railway. So I'm going to go and grab some more frames over here. Oh, I won't be able to take my launch because it's going to block by the train station here. I'm going to go grab some more of those though. Alright, so our trains are just kind of clacking along, both going. Let's go ahead, plop this freight car down, and see what happens when the train hits it. I, I don't know how to connect these things. Press E to open inventory. And it doesn't pick it up. Okay. So I guess I'm going to have to jump into a train and maybe attach it that way. Let's look at this guy. Unless it was facing the wrong way. Let's find this out. Or does this have to be at its own station? <laughs> it's kind of wonky how they clip each other. I love it. Yeah, it doesn't look like they pick it up. Okay, so next thing we can try is driving one. Okay, yeah, so there's definitely, um, I don't see a way of actually attaching this. So I'm going to go ahead so I can get going. And let's build a, let's build a station for this thing. Where should we build it? Up here. We have more room up this way. And <laughs> now, they're, now they're both behind each other. Pushing each other along. So cool thing is... If you stop the track, if you, if you break the track, the trains actually come to a stop. <laughs> That's actually really neat. That's a neat function too. Okay, so we are going to build a freight platform here and sticker right here because they're gonna uh, all the trains come in this way into the building actually did we did we face that the right way let's double check that freight platform does it even have a direction it does not so it, i don't think it matters i didn't see an error or anything at all okay so this is a freight platform here uh what we're gonna do is this one is gonna be um unload yeah, we'll go with unload because we don't have anything really to load. And connect this track back, back up to here. Okay, and the track is connected back up, but it appears the trains um, have all still stopped moving. So I didn't see this way to reset them. Uh, it says a brake is on. So let's go ahead, get in one and move it. And it should continue on its way. Hmm, this is going to really suck if you have a lot of trains on one track. Um, especially long distance ones. And you set it all off by accident. you have to go looking for the trains. Go for a train ride. Go look for all the trains. Okay, so that one should continue on its way. Uh, that one is looking like it's doing its thing. So what I'm going to do is load up a train into this station here. Or a cargo train and see if it gets picked up by one of these all right so it definitely does not pick it up damn it it even looks like it's trying to connect to it too as it goes uh, so what I'm gonna do is actually take one of these off the track here and we're gonna replace it back down did I dismantle it nope apparently not hey let me dismantle you do I have to tell you to stop? Okay, so it stopped. Uh oh.
Oh, there we go. <laughs> Got it. Okay, so we have our frame, or we have uh, the one freight car there. So let's go ahead. And okay, so it looks like it's actually, looks like it's almost clipping to that. Did it catch it? That looks like it's, that looks like it's clipped. Looks like it's clipped in there. Okay, so this train's name is, let's check that out. This train's name is Test. Here we go. And we're going to add two stops. One from here and then one to there. So let's go ahead, get out, and it should go on its own. Oh, and it took it! Okay, awesome. So you have to build those in sequence, I guess. Um, you can't back them up or, or load them in or anything. Okay, neat. That's actually, uh, that's actually pretty cool. Now, I don't have anything in it. I should have thrown some stuff from my inventory in there to see it uh, load up. We can always do that. Okay, so all the trains are running into each other all, all derpy. Um, I don't know what you need to do. Oh, look, now it has cargo um, to, to get rid of them properly. At least I got rid of that one. But it looks like you cannot get rid of them as they're moving at the moment, at least. Okay, here we go. Now it's going to come into station. And let's see this thing unload. While it mates with this other train. Okay, here we go. It comes down. And oh, adjust it, it adjust it, adjust it a little bit. Takes the storage container. Drops her in. Oh, that's really neat. And she's empty. Good to go. She's unloaded. So all of my stuff should be in here. <laughs> that is uh, that's pretty damn cool. Okay, so that is um, trains. Now that it's unloaded, though, doesn't seem to be going anywhere or doing anything. This is an issue. So let's take a look at our timetables here. We got our test train. What if we flip these around just like that? Still not going anywhere? Maybe it needs a load site. Maybe just like the train station we had earlier. Maybe it needs itself a load site too. Um, apparently, I cannot move this train. It is not allowing me to move this train. at all okay so I'll get rid of that this is really weird maybe this is a glitch yeah this train's stuck it will not move okay uh, so I guess I'll get rid of that or try to and it won't let me delete it see this is why they warn you it's experimental uh, and this is kind of why I wanted to play around with it a little bit too before really committing to any really big builds. Now I think the rail itself is almost pretty pretty set. So we could do something like lay down some rails for the stations, but it looks like we might encounter some problems along the way. Yeah, this train is like borked. It does not want to do anything. Will it go in reverse? Nope. And it will not go in forward. Train is barked. At least this train can ram itself into it. <laughs> okay, awesome. Well, that's uh, that's that's trains for you guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that little bit of a segment. But we have other goals we need to accomplish here. We have to unlock tier seven. Um, let's actually go ahead and take a look at our space elevator here and see what what. Okay, so for tier seven. We're going to have a little bit of work because I definitely do not have a thousand heavy modular frames. Um, we used up a little bit for the other ones and I think we had about three or four hundred. So we're not even halfway there for the modular frame. So it looks like I might actually have to do some hand work to get that done. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and dump whatever computers and whatever motors I may have on me. Uh, let's press that all good sort button. Uh, we have 34 computers. There we go. We've donated 34 so far. Uh, but I'm going to go and get a bunch of computers and see how many frames we have right now. 
And um, a whole bunch of motors here too. That's a lot. All right, so after a quick inventory here, we have 280 altogether after building all that train. So I got a lot of work on my hands. Um, even if I AFK and we're producing one per minute, I'm looking at 750 minutes, whatever that is in hours. Maybe that's a whole overnight. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do is just actually AFK it out because I, I really don't want to make that many by hand it just it hurts my head even thinking about that and uh, I just if I did do that by hand I would completely run out of time uh, for today's episode did these trees grow back or did they change for some reason these feel different to me are these new trees <laughs> look at me getting distracted I swear that's new trees. That's crazy. And uh, there's a little bit of work to do too. I think I need to lay down or start laying down some track because I know there's uranium in that, that those mines over there. And I have to make some TNT and do some more researches. So I'm going to get my researches here done. Uh, get my TNT and stuff together so we can blow up the boulders. And I do th actually, when we get uranium, now it's in tier 7. Uh, we'll have to make a suit too so that we don't die, but at least I can make the TNT for now uh, Lay down the track maybe AFK the game overnight so that I can produce all the the frames and everything I need We'll have a crap load of supercomputers too, which will actually be really really nice and uh, I'll see you guys here in the next episode. Hopefully this one's not too short But at least we got to dick around with the trains and really see uh, what they're capable and what they're not capable of being demolished apparently or moving it's definitely glitched in that station I wonder if we got rid of the station if we get rid of the train I don't even know Boop.